This documentary presents a comparison of the lives of the rich, poor, and middle class in New Providence. Potter's Key Dock is a native hideout spot where many locals and tourists gather to indulge in Bohemian cuisines. Since the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic in the Bahamas in March 2020, the dock has steadily been rebounding with activity again. But it has seen an increase of poverty-struck individuals. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And you think that's what we need? Yes. And so you uh, see this all the time? You you feel yeah, how you yeah, feel yeah. about that? You say that right? right yeah. What they used to call you when you were small? What they call you? No siblings? That's your brother? That's your brother. You been to jail? Yeah, Why? For what? When this was? This was four years ago, five years ago. So when you got out? When you came out of jail? Why? Why they shoot you? You know the question is what they say. But who's getting out of the country, right? I support myself. I support myself. Yeah. I I sleep in that store sometimes. Which one? Which one? On the side of the island, though? I don't know. boat. Oh, you like the boat better? I don't know if I like my own hands. Any of these people around here to help you? What about food? Like, there's help with food? Yeah. How you doing? You from Long Island? Which part? Sims? Oh. So, how you get down here in Nassau? I come down here because I like six people go to all these food around here. Oh, yeah? What you, what? I come to Nassau. Mm -hmm. One time I'm in Nassau. You look this way, it's a different way. You look that way, it's a different way. Everybody you see, they want something. And if you don't get the money, they try to take it away from you. Mm -hmm. And then they look down at you. There's a lot of ways they give you something. How the tourists feel now being back? Like how how has business been? Yeah. Especially if they try customers from back in the time and what's going on now, they happy. They fully vaccinated. Awesome. Let's get a thing going on. Yeah, yeah. What right. was it like when you were a child? Different? Like my young days when I was in school, I didn't have any guns in. I guess we all have another short time with guns this week. In the Camp Road area, many residents are still in the Camp Road area. Many residents maintain the traditional African heritage by eating the food from the earth. Now, you three. Leave and tie down, they still get water. The rest I show away. So strong at my age. How old are you? I'm five, five. Oh, wow. And at my age, 
I climb in. I say climb in, free climb in, whatever. As a person who's dealing with any tourists and putting on shows, man, I feel. You know? When you cook, that's, you uh, cook in. That part there is like, yeah, some boiled bananas. It's nana, yeah. yeah. Some young boiled bananas, man, we always as wrong in this area right now. Man, we put together, yeah, bananas, uh, uh, so y'all do of, all type of vegetables boil up. Boil up. Yeah, you yeah, live in ice and stuff like that tomorrow. Being in Canada, to be in like the Bahamas, how's that? How's that? How's that it's meant? Definitely a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> and like, uh, what? A which I way? Prepared for, and a bunch I wasn't totally prepared for. But... Yeah. What would it, you it's rate? It's definitely up there. Like it, from uh, one to ten. I put it to nine to ten for yeah. for living costs. What we sort of noticed is that so you don't pay tax on your income here, which I mean you pay a lot of tax on your income at least in Canada. Yeah, a lot of places, similar places we look at in New Providence, mm -hmm. in gated community, um, mm -hmm. it seems, seems to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chi so, as a whole feels like a giant gated community. Right. There's gated communities in between. Well, so it's working well for our current situation. Mm -hmm. um, I love having the sidewalks. <laughs> Whereas for right. we the Frank Hill Beach, there's not any sidewalks to walk on. What else you have? There's a banana tree. Yeah, banana cane. Cane. And they get a back and see what they're doing. Yeah. Wild dine, see wild dine. See what this is wild dine? What is it? Wild dine? Ooh, this has something on it. Yeah, I ate nothing. I ate nothing this morning. Oh, it's what good. made you the, to start planting? You like Yazi said, that's the old man Yazi said, right? Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, low, he started running some nonsense too. Right. And we live home. I think it's a big area. Will you sleep in this? Where we live in, it's a... I see sun, then you have grandchildren, great grandchildren coming up and then it's causing a little rise. So before causing a rise, very hard, you know? Right. And it's been across the road. Because of the, because of the yeah. gas station? No, just wipe the house, maybe. Right. And then so too. where the house, like where your homestead? In the back of the garage, it's a big old side of the back of the garage. Okay. The first house in the back of the garage is on the same side. So when you start living in the car? I didn't mean to live in the car. And your sister know you in the yeah, car? Yeah, man. But then I see that's why I've been in the back of the car. They can't stop me. Still, they can't knock it up. You said how long you were in the car for? Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car for about 15 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this your suitcase? Oh wow. But I notice you have a lot of blind, like blinds, so it's nice and cozy. Nice and warm. Don't care about this. I dog this. I get up every night, and then she goes to bed in there. You got it set up so nice. Why they call you the the snake man? Because I, I, I just love snakes. So why, why you love your snakes? Where your snakes is? Oh, they they home today. Oh, they home. Yeah, what home. kind of snakes you have? They are fall snakes. Fall snakes, grass snakes. Um, um, Patrick, this I was talking to Pio. 
You and P.O., I hear you all speak cooking. Yeah, yeah we're good buddies, man. We're good buddies. What, what all stuff you all just make on the weekend? Yeah, but we have a speak about ground food. Yeah, Patrick never told me the type of food he's been eating. Oh boy. <laughs> but I noticed Patrick nice and slim. Yeah. Patrick, you gotta tell me what you all be eating. Yeah, but you see here now? Land food. That's what we eat. What you call it? Land, land. Land food. Like, what that? What, yeah. what that? Okay, so what all? The tomatoes. There. You shoot tomatoes? You, yeah. you, you guess that? I saw the tomatoes. Yep. What else you all is cook? Tomatoes? Yeah. You know, island stuff, corn beef. So how you all learn how to do that? Oh, we do that in the yard. We cook on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. that's like the old fashioned way, right? Right, right. So. No gas, just wood, pure wood. So you all is just light the fire and just. Put the butter right on the stove. And just cook. Yeah. That's the best food to eat. And let us be good, so y'all are seasoning it? Yes, yes. To the tea, right to the tea. Cook on the outside. You think it tastes different from the food on the inside? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You think it tastes way better? Yep. Yep, uh, way better. Oh, yeah. Especially when you get the wood smell in it. Right, it is be like a smoke? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's, that's the way we do it. Because I'm going to get out of the same order. Mm-hmm. Right? What these countries run off? The same people would enslave our people, kill millions of them. I'm going to get out of the same place of the order. Mm-hmm. The same laws and rules will kill millions of our people. It's still running right up the day of the law and the order. Yeah, the same people that made the bombs right up. It's the same day that I'm going to get out of the world like us. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, you can tell this captain is out of it. <laughs> There's fish on him. They're remorant. What are they? Remorant, they clean it. Background get clean. Yeah, man. Yeah, the yacht, the yacht getting clean over there. My husband's rich. Where'd I go? What do you do for a living, Jinx? Uh, see, I own a business, uh, AV rental company. Um, and I'm also the head of sales for Big Temple. And I'll be back in Bob on an album. Awesome. Mainland, what do you what do you do? Are you in business with your husband or are you have a separate? Um, I'm partially in business with my husband. I also work for two companies, Sound Creek, and also as part of Think Simple and Bodhi and I T D graphics. Um, I would say it's uh, pretty average. You know, when I wake up I walk walk the dog. Um, you know, I take a shower. Um, you know, I come out here and I I live fancy with these fancy lads behind me. 
Milan, do you and your husband um like you guys hang out on the weekends? Like, what's what's this favorite spots that you that you normally frequent? Um, I like to stay home. <laughs> My husband, however, he's a socialite and loves to go out. You love the south of France. What's your favorite place, Jinx, that you that you frequent? What's your favorite spot? Baker's Bay must be my favorite. I mean in New Providence. Albany. Albany. How are the, how are your friends in Albany? Affluent. Um, definitely 1% of the 10%. 1% of 10%. Of the 10%. I do that math. About there. A lot of your friends in the 1%? Yes. There are some others that just came ashore. <laughs> um, Over there on yeah, that so, boat? Yes, they're the Greeks. The Greeks. Many businesses, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you look at the 10%, like the top 10% of your team, they are the 1% out of that 10%. You see what I did there? So I, I took 10% out of 100, and then you got another 100, which is just of that 10%. So that's 100 and then you got another 100, which is just of that 10%. You see what I did there? That's what it is. I never said that he was ghetto. <laughs> Sorry, what I said was, you shouldn't wear baggy pants. That's what I said. Yes. And I see he's 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 graduated from the baggy pants and he has flamingo pants. I'm on some, I'm on some bag to this. <laughs> bag to this. You need four fingers. Okay, four fingers bag to this. Would you describe you and your wife as middle class? Yes. And why? Why would you? Why would you? Oh shit, the boat of wheels. And I am Russell. Okay. Um, how long have you guys been in living in the Bahamas? Uh, so I've been in the Bahamas for four and a half years now. Four? As a teacher. Awesome. You I've been here already 11 years. Your, how was both of your experiences being a teacher and being a nanny? Uh, so, uh, as a teacher, it's quite different from the UK in a lot of ways. Um, the first thing to say, the kids are way better behaved and have way better manners than they do in England, which is a huge plus. It makes my job a lot easier in terms of like the day-to-day -day actually in the classroom. Um, there are, because I work in a, one of the best private schools in the island, that means I have some stresses and some uh, high expectations in terms of my performance, but overall it's been very positive. Yeah, yeah so you would say your experience overall you in um, teaching um, Bohemian kids particularly is has been okay. It's been good. It's yeah, been yeah. good. Overall it's been Memorable. Good. Overall it's been good and uh, positive and yeah. they respond pretty well to teachers. Uh, on the whole. So, yeah, awesome. So I assume you're a nanny to Bohemian kids or? Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's really hard. It's a very stressful job. Like it's demanding. Actually, physically and emotionally, you get really attached to the kids. To me, my kids is by my own kids. And yeah. You get really attached, and it's very demanding. Yes, it's, you want to obviously give them the best and teach them the best, and it's like being a mom with a son. So I came, I came for a family, but obviously with the time, with the work and everything, like I can move on and I can consider myself like right now in like a middle class and I'm very fortunate, very lucky in here because it's, the life here is expensive, but I'm very lucky to find a very amazing place um, and a job like help me and give me bunch of bonus and stuff like I can enjoy the time over here and yeah, I can see it now like a little class. Um we actually are leaving the Bahamas in a couple of months because we we're gonna get married in June and we wanna start a family but for us it's too difficult in here. It's too expensive like the healthcare having a kid here is for different friends and the, the family I work, the amount of money you have to pay is really expensive, it's really high. So yeah. we unfortunately cannot start a family, start that type of our life together like a yeah. couple in here. So 
we need to, we're gonna go to England and start our family then. Yeah. This is what I'm going to be from my heart, Korean. For the BMW people and for God Almighty, Almighty, Almighty. This one is just cheap, mighty one. I would allow to see God put this on the wheel bar of my land. I make these people turn back into one. Can you mean it, my dear? We know you know more. You don't know what they come out and show. If people who don't have baby give us, I'm run to God. We have a big not poor people, not tell me prospects. What we keep my heart take them lengthy. I know much of them want plenty. How much dead on them I forget lengthy. <laughs> Nothing in this life is so lengthy. Still live your life. Give thanks and prayers and be God. Remember, I tell you, for Parmalan.
Oh, your boat sank. Yeah. When? When did that? When did that happen? How? Well, how you let that happen? Why? Well, how you let that happen? This was, you said, three days ago, Friday. Yeah. Oh wow! So when you, so you came here Saturday and you met it in the yeah, like I on the water. Oh uh, uh huh. <laughs> oh Lord, but but you are laughing about it. So why is it? This was a this was a small boat. Like how much feet? How much foot? A big boat. And it over there now. It's still there. Is it fully under the water or not yet? Let the sun shine throughout every day Let the moon shine through